We're following breaking news right now. We can't reiterate enough how treacherous the roads can be with so many people on them. We want to take you out right now. Sky Tracker just kind of froze up on me here for a second, but I'll tell you the information what we're looking at. We're going all the way down towards the Georgia Florida border right on I-95. A terrible crash involving two tractor trailers. We're hearing about at least one fatality. I-95 shut down in both directions at St. Mary's Road. This is in Camden County. Again, all lanes on both sides of the interstate are completely shut down. Let me see if my uh, camera will start working. There we go. You could see that response there and traffic in both directions closed off. This is why we want to stress again to please be careful as you head out for the 4th of July weekend. We're going to continue to update you on this one again right near the Georgia Florida line. This is north of Jacksonville. We'll update you at 11alive.com. A little closer to home. Let's talk about what we're enjoying with that G dot suspending those lane closures. That is certainly going to help us. It's going on now until Tuesday at 10 p.m. PM. And remember, watch your speed in all those GDOT work zones. Speaking of GDOT, they gave us the travel forecast, and folks, it is coming true. Today is the big day, and it's going to stay with us till about 8 o'clock tonight. Tomorrow, you get a second round, but not as bad. Moderate, we'll call it around lunchtime till about 6 o'clock. Sunday and Monday, you get the easy condition green, but then on Tuesday, we bring it all back. Everybody needs to come home, and the one quarter, which southbound is a mess right now, will get it north. Tuesday all day long, 75 from Locust Grove into downtown. And look at this live shot right here. That is I-75 heading southbound through Locust Grove. I think a lot of folks, uh, Jay Bell, are either off to the beach or going to see the mouse. <laughs>